Alright, we found a hole over here. Good work out here. Present? Nope. Damn. That one did look promising too. Yeah. There it is. There it is. There it is. That's the first one. Yep. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. All right, hold oh on. Oh my god. <laughs> hold on. All right, there's the second one right there. Razor Clan. Yeah. Allie. All right. You take the next shot. Okay. It's got to be in anything? Nothing? See anything in there? Oh, right there. there. Good Woo. job, Hallie. Look at that. Nice. It's <laughs> my first ever. Your first razor clam. Right here. Yeah, yeah. All right. Go ahead. All right. All right, there it is. That's um, 15 in each bucket. And uh, we all did it in uh, how much time? An hour. An hour, An hour work hour. about? Yeah. Nice. All right, guys. Now that we've had our coffee, our breakfast, I'm ready to go and uh, process the uh, razor clams. Are they alive? Let's see. Oh yeah. Still alive. Yep, okay. Aerators work. All right guys, here they are. We're just gonna dump them here. This is the salt water. like right there. Nice beautiful right there. Slide it out. Just rinse it off. Get as much um, sand out of the shelves and the outside. That way you don't have to do it later. That should be ready to go. All right, we're gonna put hot water in this pot or bowl and then just dump these guys. And then once they open up, we'll soak them into the ice bath. That way they don't continue to cook. All right, here we go. All right, I pre-boiled some water. This is super, super hot. There you go. All right, we'll just dump these guys in there. Maybe two or three at a time. That should be instant. There, that's open. Ice bath. All right, I think that's good. See, perfect. Just take them off the shell. They should just slide out like that. Pull that guy. There you go. Just get it started. There you go. Just slide your thumb in there, finger. There you go. Put that aside. Probably don't need the thongs anymore. Let's continue. There. Oh, oops, wrong place. All right, this guy, just put your finger in there, put it underneath the uh, abductor muscle, and then we have a few more. That was pretty easy, actually. All right, guys, this is the very first time I've um, ever cleaned um, razor clams, and I've just loved YouTube because everybody has a way to clean them and it's very informative this is basically cleaning razor clams 101 all right let's get started zipper looks like a zipper right there so just cut through that there are two vents 
okay that's the first vent I think and then here's the other vent and you just basically as you can see right there that was the other vent right there or the siphon and you basically would just want to um, cut out all the brown stuff so this is the gills right here this is the gills right there and yeah just cut cut around it and this is called the foot and this is the supposedly everybody was saying that this is the most delicious right here and this guy's still moving that's kind of crazy all right let's start so we get cut out i think you're gonna cut out this right here the foot is god this guy's still alive it's crazy i'm so sorry I thank you for the nourishment that you're gonna about to to give us, but um, yeah, you gotta go. There you go, and all the innards are right there. Okay, and uh, this piece that's coming out, um, I forgot what that was, but somebody told me that that's uh, that's not edible. Anyways, then you cut out the foot. Because that's where all the crap is. Excuse my language. Just butterfly it. And rinse it like that. There you go. Use your finger like that. And that's pretty much, that's it. That's one. Okay, just want to make sure. This is kind of like the fatty part. Okay, you don't want to, you don't want to complete the like clean the fatty part so this part right here kind of like that is the fatty part of the uh, clam so you just want to rinse it lightly okay all right and that's good to go let's make sure we cut all the way through the vent the first one's going to be always more difficult because this is the first time so just rinse that Make sure all the brown stuff and uh, you know sand are out of the flesh, and you don't want you don't want any uh, grinding of sand in when you're eating. All right, that's pretty much that's the foot. Okay. All right, there it goes. That's the foot. All right, let's just put it out here to dry. Okay. Right over here to the right. And where would that go now? Where did that piece go? Hold on. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, no, this is the one. <laughs> All right. So you just want to cut around this part right here. You just want to cut all around this part. Oops, sorry. So you're gonna cut all that area. So what I'm gonna do is just right there, around. And I'm gonna save this for like crab bait. You know, this all the juices for the crab and I have a little container over here. If, ooh, man, I don't wanna. Go to the drain. Here, let's plug up the drain because I don't want to have this are really slimy. So, um, here you go. All right, I'm gonna put that in a in a sack probably for my crab snare or something like that. So I should have a good amount of, of those innards. All right, let's continue the process here. All right, here's the gills. I'm gonna just cut out the gills. There you go. Let's put that over here and just kind of scrape it away. Yeah. Oh, that's that little. I don't know what that is. Anybody know what that is? Anyways, I'm just gonna. Doesn't look harmful. It's still. If it's white, it's most likely the uh, the meat part. Okay. So that's one part right here. Here we go, it's beautiful meat. 
make sure uh, I should just rinse it with clean, nice clean water right here. Just slowly. Yeah, make sure we don't get any sand right here. Just rinse it. And then I'm just going to lay it over here over the towel like that. That's one complete one right there. Right there. All right, guys. Before I try this, okay, I'm going to pour myself some wine. This is an Italian wine that I got. Uh, Where did I get this? I think I got this at um, Trader Joe's, I think. Pinot Grigio. Here it goes. It's already 1.30 in the afternoon, so I can get I can get some wine. Nice chilled wine. Alright, here it goes. Taste test. Just in case I don't like it. <laughs> I got the wine. <laughs> here you go. There it is. Alright, taste test. Here we go. They said they they said that this tastes like scallops. All right, it better I better hope so. Here he goes, first bite. I'm trying to. Wow, yeah. There's a little bit of a sweetness to it. It's really, um, really tender. It's not really. It's not like chewy at all. No, it's, it's sweet. It's really good. It doesn't taste fishy at all. It's good. It's good. Really good. All right, I'm going to drink a little bit of uh, this wine. It's a uh, Pinot Grigio, you know. Seafood and white wine. Can't go wrong. Oh, yeah. All right, just finishing up my last piece. It took a little longer because I'm doing the video on this, so that's it. There's the pieces right here. Pretty clean. It's all done. Here it is. Nice and clean. Ready to be uh, battered up. Batter up? These are the, uh, the tips of the uh, siphon. I'm going to use those for like perch bait or something like that on my next uh, fishing excursion. All right, guys. One other step um, that I want to do is the neck part right here can be a little tough. So I'm just going to tenderize it a little bit. Just tap it. Just like that. Just tenderize it. Put it aside. And that's just a suggestion of everybody else on, on YouTube University. Okay, keep on doing it until we're done. That's tenderizing right, right there. Okay, that's all you need. Just light tenderizing. All right, guys, um, just gonna put like that's about a half a teaspoon of uh, baking soda, okay? So just gonna eyeball it, maybe a half a teaspoon or a, a full teaspoon of garlic. I like garlic. Right there, that looks like, and salt. All right, guys. This is the uh, the flour mix that I that I made. It's cornstarch, salt, and pepper, and garlic powder, and a little bit of chili. All right. I'm just gonna put it on here, or I'm just gonna put it in this bowl, and get our let's see, let's get our eggs. 
one egg already. There we go. And let's uh, scramble it real quick. All right, that's about good right there. That's it. That's it right there. All right, this is the foot. That's the body. Let's do the uh, foot first because it's probably a lot easier. Okay, this egg mix. There you go, that's ready to go. Nice and covered. Let's put the foot there. Let's continue. Let's get it started. All right, getting the hang of it. All right, let's continue until we're done. All right, here we go. Last one. Oh, man, we're ready to go. We're ready to fry these up now. I'm excited. First time I've uh, ever done this, so. Like I said, this is this is razor climbing 101 cleaning and cooking. Just a simple, simple way. Simple way to do this. Alright, we're good to go. Alright. For the air fryer, we're just gonna add some avocado oil spray. Just light. Oops. See if that helps out. Okay. So we're gonna put this in the oven air fryer, and then we'll heat this up now. And it shouldn't take that long. All right. Let's put this in the uh, air frying oven. It shouldn't take that long. And I think this is heated up already, so. Let's just put a little bit more some towel underneath for this to soak. Put the finished product right there. All right, let's start. Um, let's do this guy. Let's turn it down a little bit. We don't want it too super hot. All right, here we go. Like I said, it's just a medium heat, so I don't want to burn it right away. Oh, that looks really golden. Golden brown. Looks really good. Alright, 
All right, let's take a look at the uh, air fryer. What's inside? Let's see. Oh yeah, it's looking good in there. Looks like calamari. All right, let's let this. All right, guys, this is the first time I've done this, so yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be overcooking it or undercooking it or, or what, but um, I should try to taste it. Cut a piece of that other one. All right, let's take this out already. It's been like about maybe three minutes, something like that. Wait, right there to dry. Get the extra oil to drip onto the paper towel. Let's finish this up. Let's cool it down a little bit. All right, here's the foot. This is supposed to be the best tasting part right here. Oh, the clam, the foot. Frying kind of makes a mess, but you know, it's good sometimes just to do it. Once in a while, frying is good. That's why I did the air fryer right here. Um, it's a little bit more healthy, less oil. So I'm just gonna flip it. I think this might be two. Yeah, this, this is two. Okay. All right. Only about two minutes, I think. Four minutes max. That's really, this is pretty tender. That looks good. There. Just fry it till golden brown on both sides. And this should be good. This is good already, I think. Look at that. Alright, let's turn this off. Some Caesar salad right here. Okay, now let's put um, some pieces of the foot right here. Here's the, uh, the, the body of it. it. Looks pretty good. Let's just do that. Another body right there. And maybe a little foot right here. This is the most delicious part of the, the segment. We're actually gonna taste this beautiful food that um, nature has provided us. Um, yeah, just foraging, you know? The crabbing was excellent. There. Then I have some uh, marinara sauce here that um, is a leftover, but I'm glad it was there. All right, let's um, taste the body first. All right, let's uh, see how it tastes. Okay, this is the ring kind of. 
the ring part. First taste of the uh, fried one. Super good. I'm not lying. Wow. Mm hmm. Wow. Super good. Wow, that's such a simple um, recipe that I followed too. It's just kind of like flour and, and baking soda, a little bit of baking soda and cornstarch and your, your uh, spices, salt and pepper, the regular. I didn't even put anything. It just tastes so good right now. Whew, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that it is that good. That was the fried one. I'm going to taste the, uh, I should take some wine so that you can, because I'm going to compare it to the, the air fried one. See how that goes. Mm, that's good wine too. All right. Air fried one. It really um, got reduced like it, in size compared to you know the fried ones so here we go the air fried one that's really good too this is the foot and it has so much more like flavor. Mm. All right. That has a lot of that fatty stuff on there. Um, it's sweet, not fishy at all. Just super good. Wow. Let's clean the, the taste palette. All right, this is the, the foot that was um, fried. It's, the texture on this one was a little bit, a little bit more softer, but more um, elastic-y. I don't know how to describe it. And this one that was air fried is a little bit more crunchy and more a little bit more firm. I think because it's got uh, it, it shrunk quite a bit. But the taste, oh my god! I, I don't really. Let, I'm gonna tr try with the marinara sauce here. Let's see if it. This is the body part. This is the uh, part right here. You know um, that holds the shell together, the circle part. So I just cut off a piece, let's, let's um, put a little bit of marinara sauce on there. Let's see how that tastes. Mmm. Wow. Man, that's really good. First time I've ever went um, razor, razor um, clamming digging. First time. And I will go and do it again. Let's do the uh, let's see, butter and, and potato. There we go. See, that complements it. And I have a little bit of a Caesar salad, and I haven't had the crab yet. Wow. Really good. Our Dungeness crab. I'm just gonna split it right here, like that. And take the leg. There's a lot of meat right in the in the socket right here. So blessed. 
so blessed I, I was able to share this with you guys. That is one. This is an awesome, awesome meal. It's crazy. Razor clams are, are really good. No wonder a lot of people go for this. Excellent. Is that my Goldie? <laughs> Anyways guys, thanks for um, joining me in this episode. I hope you like the content. Please continue to support the channel by subscribing or just giving me a thumbs up and give me some comments. All right, we'll see you later. Peace.